What's up Facebook? So today is actually a very special day. It is Wednesday the 2nd of October and the 2nd of October happens to be the anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, a, one of the most memorable people that have lived in recent times. So many people revere this person. So many people have love and respect for Mahatma Gandhi and he's done so much. His influence on society, on culture, on the way people think. Many people have changed their lives because of Gandhi. So it's a very special day and I wanted to share a number of realizations that I've had about Gandhi and I'm going to do it in a couple of videos. So the one I want to share here right now is a quote that you may have heard before which is to serve Sorry, let me say that again. The Mahatma Gandhi quote, which is, to find yourself, lose yourself in the service of others. I'll say that again. A famous quote of his was, in order to find yourself, lose yourself in the service of others. And I think that's profound because a lot of us have been raised to think that service is a dirty word. To be a, a servant is something undesirable. You don't want to be a servant. You don't want, nobody wants to be a servant for somebody, right? It feels unright. It feels like you're being used. And yet here's Gandhi saying to serve is the way to find yourself. And so I find that profound because a lot of people would not normally associate serving as a way to find liberation or to find oneself. And yet we see it with some of the most selfless people in the world, whether it's, whether it's the Dalai Lama, whether it's Mother Teresa, whether it's any saintly figure that you see, but not only saintly figures, if you look at some of the people in politics, people that people have come to admire, whether it's country leaders, uh, Narendra Modi, let's take Modi for example. Here's a person, regardless of what you happen to think of him, who is arguably the biggest servant in India because he is serving the nation. He may be the leader of the country, but he is still serving the entire nation. And therefore you see that whether you are a factory worker, whether you are a parent, whether you are a politician or whether you are a leader of a country or whether you're the CEO like Steve Jobs of Apple, you are still in a position where you're serving. Even as a leader, we serve. And so according to the ancient scriptures in India, we say that service is the propensity, it's the dharma of the living soul. It's the dharma of the soul, the atma, the spiritual soul, the soul. It's dharma, it's fundamental propensity that you cannot detract from it or divorce from it is to serve. We're all like that. The service to the soul is what sweetness is to sugar. It's what heat is to fire. It's what light is to the sun. You cannot divorce the two. It's liquidity to water. Service is our propensity. And so no matter what we think or we do, service is what we got to do anyway. Hey, listen, even if you feel that you're not serving anyone and you're not answerable to anyone, you don't have a wife, you don't have children, you don't have uh, responsibilities, you're still serving your mind. You're still serving your desire. So we're still serving something, someone. And so that propensity to serve is always there. The question, as the ancients asked it, was what are you going to repose that service tendency in or towards? Where are you going to direct that service tendency? And here, I feel Gandhi gives a great answer. To lose yourself in the service of others is to find yourself. So ask yourself in your life, where are you serving others? How are you serving others? And maybe you're serving others begrudgingly, right? Many of us have been in jobs, I've been there, right? Where we're serving people, we're in a, in a career we're not happy with. But what can you do to change the mindset of that service? According to the Bhagavad Gita, the Bhagavad Gita Krishna says beautifully, he goes, offer that service unto the divine, offer that service unto the supreme. And so he's showing right there, 5,000 plus years ago, how you can transmute transmute what you're doing so that the outcome ultimately becomes pure. The outcome ultimately becomes spiritual. The out outcome ultimately becomes the cause of your success, the cause of our success. So ask yourself, where are you serving? Who are you serving? And how can you serve more in your family, in your society? How can we do this more? Because the more we learn to serve in the right way, with the right mindset, 
the more we're going to start to create success in ourselves. And look at Gandhi. Gandhi is a great example of this. It's his anniversary today. Here is a man who gave up so much to serve his nation, to serve his people. And we all know some of the sacrifices that he made. And I know that many of you may have differing views of Gandhi and his background. But one thing we cannot argue is how he served his country, how he served his nation. And maybe he made mistakes along the way. And maybe he did that. But his desire was to serve. And I think we can all learn from that. To serve others, to serve others with kindness of heart, with a good intention, or to purify that intention, as it says in the Gita, is a great way to learn to find success within ourselves and to find that joy. So, you want some homework? I'm going to give you some homework. During the course of this remaining week, find a way to serve somebody in your friend or family circle, somebody that you know. Find a way to serve them in some way. Maybe it's have, picking up the phone, giving them a call and speaking to them about something. Maybe it's giving them a hand with something in their work life. Maybe it's giving them a practical hand with something they've got going on. Or maybe it's just picking up the phone and saying something encouraging and beautiful to them to help them, to serve them by reminding them of their greater self. Find a way to serve somebody during the week. Let us know how this goes. We can all do this little experiment on Gandhi's anniversary and see what happens. I will check back in with you later on and I think I'm going to share another. I think this Gandhi anniversary thing is gold. So watch out. I might be back. Oh, and by the way, Oh, and by the way, tonight, tonight, Wednesday, the 2nd of October, 9 p.m. UK time, so 4 p.m. EST for our American friends, um, we are going to have a really interesting conversation with somebody called Sheila Price. So Sheila Price is a sleep paralysis expert and a spiritual kind of uh, practitioner and coach. She's an author. She's got a wonderful following across the globe. And she's joining us to discuss this whole thing about sleeping and fear of the dark and fears that happen in the dark and sleep paralysis. So it's going to be on at 9 p.m. It's going to be an interesting conversation. Tune in, check it out, and let us know what you're doing. Hey guys, serve somebody today, tonight, this week, and take a note to see how it feels to serve someone with love, with selflessness, to give something and see how you feel. Maybe it might just become a habit. Peace out. Namaste.